This is the Arthur Podcast, and it's me, Arthur Reed. I called all my friends to the treehouse today because I've got a great idea. Oh, here they come. They're climbing up the ladder. Hey, Binky. Hey, hey Arthur. Buster. Sounds hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Muffy. Glad you could make it. So I want to talk about this. This is the book of incredible and amazing world records. I've read the whole thing. You called us here to tell us about world records? Yes, Muffy. Here's the big idea. I think that we could break a world record. <gasps> we could get our name in the book. We'd be famous. What kind of records are you suggesting, Arthur? It could be anything, Brain. This book is full of world records. Like, um, oh, okay. So here's a guy who had 100 bees in his mouth for 10 seconds. Way too dangerous. Another guy blew 90 bubbles with a tarantula in his mouth. You'd think he would have broken the world record by just blowing one bubble with a tarantula in his mouth. Oh, those are all disgusting. Aren't there any records that are more glamorous? Glamorous. Oh, there was a woman who had fingernails that were 22 feet long. I love it! Uh, oh, here's a guy who tried to walk backwards all the way around the world. Backwards? I'm really good at that! I can even drink from the water fountain backwards. Oh, Brain, you'll like this. It lists the youngest kid who's ever used drones to make maps. I could invent a new drone use. And then I'd get my name in the record book. Sure, but what about a record that we could all work together to break? Nah, I'm going to break a world record on my own. Yeah, I want my name in that book. I'm going to break the world record for, um, not talking. Not talking? You? Oh, I can stop any time I want. Like, right? <laughs> wow. She zipped her lips and threw away the key. She's really going for it. But my idea was about working together to break a record. You know, I'm going to break the record for the most soccer kicks in a row. Well, I got to go practice. Yeah. Wait, thanks, thanks Arthur. Guys, building I thought we would... <sighs> I guess I'll have to break a world record on my own. Well, podcast people, what do you think? Let me check my inbox to see what kind of world record you want to break. If I were to break a world record, I would grow the tallest asparagus in the world. I would climb the tallest mountain. If I were to break a world record, I would eat the most pizza. I want to break a running world record because I run so fast. I want to break a world record for the longest drum solo. The first person to read 1,000 million books because <laughs> I love reading books. Those are great ideas. I gotta come up with my own. Tomorrow, records will be broken. Well, podcast people, my plan is to break the record for chewing gum. 108, 109. Arthur, if I keep kicking this ball, I could break the world record today. Cool, Francine. Hey, Muffy. Mm-hmm. She's not talking, remember? 110. 111. Oh, oops, Buster! <laughs> and he knocked my ball, too! Now I gotta start all over. Sorry. I'm still getting used to these rear view mirrors. If you wanna walk backwards, you have to see backwards, too. So I put my bike mirrors on my backpack. What record are you breaking, Arthur? I'm throwing this gum. Like, forever. Cool. What's Binky doing over there at the picnic tables? Let's go see. But watch out, I make wide turns. Hey, Binky, what you doing? Uh, I'm making the world's largest bridge built out of popsicle sticks, but I don't know if I can do it. Uh, I feel sick. I must have eaten 25 popsicles. You know, my mom once made a popsicle stick lampshade out of 400 popsicle sticks. Wow, she must have a stomach of steel. No. She bought her popsicle sticks at a craft store. What? Oh, wish I'd known that before I ate all these popsicles. I don't know about this record thing, Arthur. I'm getting kind of tired kicking a soccer ball around all by myself. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely out. What if we go back to my first idea? We all break a record together. Hey, can you find us a group record to break? Let me look in the book. 
Okay. Ten friends once ate 60 worms in a minute. Not a chance! Oh, I spoke! Oh, yeah, I'm terrible at being quiet. I'm never doing that again. And our Muffy is back. Hey, here's a record. We could all try to make the world's largest pizza. Why not? Okay. We don't have to eat the world's largest pizza, right? Just make it? The whole town will eat it. Okay, I'm in. I'm in too. But I'm still gonna try to break the backwards walking record. I'm really getting the hang of these new mirrors. Wait, I see someone. Is that Brain? Get out of the way! It's gonna spray you! Uh, what's he saying? And what's that flying thing? It's a lawn watering drone. But I haven't worked the cake so. Go! Oh, Brain, make it stop! It's soaking my hair! I can't stop it! That's the kink I haven't worked out. I'll hit it with my soccer ball. <sighs> well, that's one way to stop it. <sighs> Brain, we were thinking maybe we could all make the world's largest pizza. Instead of our own records? I don't know. Drones are cool. We really need your help to figure it out. Yeah, there's no oven big enough. And how much mozzarella do we need? Hmm. Trying to cook the world's largest pizza is a pretty fascinating idea. I will have to do a complicated cheese to sauce to crust ratio. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, yeah, really. Let me get rid of this gum. My jaw is killing me. Okay, Muffy, you're in charge of getting donations. The ingredients for the pizza are going to cost a lot of money. I'll start with the generous head of Frostwire Motors, my daddy. And how are we gonna cook this thing? At camp, we bake potatoes in tin foil in the coals of the campfire. We can't make that big a campfire, Binky. We'd burn the town down. But the suggestion of using aluminum is a good one. It's an excellent heat conductor. If we put hot coals between two layers of tin foil, we can evenly distribute the heat around the crust. When it comes to eating outside, I know a thing or two. Okay, so Binky and Brain are in charge of our outdoor cooking. But where are we going to cook the it? The soccer field. Perfect. Francine, can you get permission from Principal Haney to use the school field? On it. And Arthur, can you get tinfoil and barbecue coal from your dad's catering business? Check. What about the press, Arthur? We want our picture in the paper. And this can be a real marketing opportunity for our sponsors. Buster can help with that. His mom is the editor of the Elwood City Times. Buster, can you ask your mom to send a reporter out? Ood Liu! What? I thought I'd try talking backwards too. Ood Liu is will do. You sound kind of like an alien. Cool! Focus, people! We have a pizza to make! Gotta Bye, everyone! Liu. See you soon! Podcast listeners, this is huge. I mean, literally. This pizza is gonna be huge! It was my idea. So I hope we can pull it off. Okay, bye for now. I have a lot to do. Okay, podcast people. It's been a very busy few days. But everybody did their parts, and I think we're ready. Dad and I are driving to the soccer field now. I think you're ready too, Arthur. I talked everyone into doing this, so I really hope it works. I'll be there to help. And bonus, I'll learn how to cater a giant-sized pizza too. Here we are. Wow. Look at all the people at the field already. Hey, Binky. Hey, Brain. How's it going? We got out here at 6 a.m. and got all the tinfoil spread out. The circle has a 252-foot diameter, so we can beat the record by one foot. Yep. And then we got the charcoal on it. This is the last bag. And... Yeah. Done. Okay, Binky. Let's get the second layer of tinfoil stretched on top of the coals. Then we'll be ready for the dough. Great. Francine and Muffy are mixing it over there. Hey, Francine! Muffy! How are you doing with the dough? Oh, terrible. Muffy and I have been mixing forever. And we only have half the dough we need. And we haven't even started grating the cheese. Oh, no! Tinfoil is down. <gasps> Finally! Arthur... Were these tomatoes supposed to be mashed into sauce already? Oh, boy. What are we going to do? We'll get into the Book of World Records as failures. I can see the headline now. Giant pizza fiasco. Thanks a lot, Francine. Sorry, Arthur. I'm a journalist at heart. (sighs) I'm taking a break. Me too. That charcoal was really heavy. But you got to keep working. We'll never get this done. Arthur, if I don't stop mixing dough, my arms are going to fall off. Everybody, take five. 
podcast listeners, this is bad. Nothing is ready and my friends are exhausted. I thought we could break a record, but maybe the record is breaking us. Follow me. What's that? Come on, let's go. You mean who's that? I think it's Buster. And it looks like he's got the whole town behind him. Well, in front of him, he's still walking backwards. No, Buster! We aren't ready for the press yet. It's okay, Arthur. These people are here to help. Wow. Everyone came, Arthur. And they're all here to mix or knead or stir or sprinkle whatever you need. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is great. Maybe we can do this. Hand me that bullhorn. Everyone, let's make the world's biggest pizza. 500 pounds of flour isn't going to mix itself, people. Get mixing. Looking good. Nice puppy. Keep some lanky. Good job, Buster. All right, everyone. Knead that dough. Put your dough on the table and punch down. Huh. That's it. Now, as it gets firm, start combining your dough balls together. Got it. That's it. Arthur, the dough is ready to roll. Great. Let's carry the dough over to the tinfoil grill. That's it, people. You can do it. You got this. Arthur, we made mega rolling pins. They're baseball bats coated with plastic wrap. Awesome, Brain. Everybody, let's roll! Come on, guys! Get that side platter! Looking great, people! Keep those bats rolling! We're almost there! Okay, Arthur, dough is down. What's next? Sauce. Arthur, how are we going to get the sauce into the middle of the dough without stepping on it? I, uh, I didn't think of that. Wait, Arthur, I have an idea. Podcast people, Brain took off and he hasn't come back yet. I hope he comes through. Is that Brain? Is that a flying garden hose? I can't believe it. Brain is flying his lawn watering drone to the pizza. Arthur! Catch this hose and throw the end into the sauce. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, got it. Tube going into sauce. Oh, I hope this works. I'm calling my invention the saucinator. I modified the motor to handle the extra weight of the sauce. It should spray the sauce over the dough. Here goes. Listeners, it's in the air. Rain is steering it to the center of the pizza. It's sauce time. Yes! He has achieved total saucination! The sauce is being sprayed all over the pizza! Okay, next step. People, it's time to get cheesy! Let's make a conga line of cheese, everybody. Okay, grab yourself some plastic gloves and a bucket of shredded cheese. Now everybody make a circle around the pizza crust. And cheesy, cheesy, cheese, throw! Cheese. Come on, Francis! Cheese, throw! Cheese. Nice toss, Tibble! Cheese, throw! Cheese it up, everyone! Throw! That's it, Arthur. We're out of cheese. Okay, people. My dad is going to like the coal. And then we let it cook. Well, podcast people, I think we did it. The biggest cheese pizza in the world is cooking. And now there's just the sound of sizzling cheese. Ah. Arthur, where are you? I have the newspaper people with me. Whoa! Oof, Buster! Sorry, still not great with the mirrors. Arthur, my mom's here with a photographer from the paper. My goodness, Arthur. This pizza certainly is enormous. And we've measured it, Ms. Baxter. It's 252 feet across. It definitely breaks the record. Amazing! But does it taste good? The proof is in the pizza. You get the first slice. Mmm! 
That is the most delicious, gigantic pizza I've ever had. Yay! 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 Let's take that picture for the paper. Everyone say, pizza cheese. Pizza cheese. And you know what, Mom? We couldn't have done it without Arthur. He really kept us together. It was the best idea he's ever had. Arthur! 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 We're record breakers. We did it, everyone. Now let's eat. Well, podcast people, we did it. Mm. I think enormous pizza might be yummier than regular size pizza. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Come get another slice with me. Coming, Buster. Hear you next time, podcast people. You've been listening to the Arthur Podcast. Hey, parents. Do you want your kids to answer my next inbox question? First... Go to the Arthur website at pbskids.org to find out what I'll be asking. Then email me a voice recording of your child's response to arthur at wgbh.org. Your child's answer might even be featured on a future podcast. That's the show, Podcast Nation. If you liked it, ask your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. You can listen to all our podcasts, play games, and more at pbskids.org. The Arthur Podcast is produced for PBS Kids by GBH Kids in partnership with Gen Z Media and distributed by PRX. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful kind of day. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. GBH Kids.